Hello, my name is Kate Sheehan and I'm an occupational therapist. I have been part of the profession for the last 31 years and today I want to talk to you about clinical reasoning and supported bathing. So, what are the justifications for the right to play? As an occupational therapist, we are aware that play is key to occupational performance for a child and one that we should be promoting as part of our clinical practice. Clearly aware that play enables independence, improves self-esteem and self-awareness. It allows us to develop respect for others and develop our social skills. It allows us to be creative and gives us a capacity to learn. It enables us to work out where our body is in space. It gives the ability to exercise our choice and control over our own personal hygiene. It allows us to explore um, risk taking and it supports healthy lifestyles. So is there some evidence out there? In 2007, Dunn identified bathing as a therapeutic medium for occupational therapists to use with children and she lists a number of ways bathing can be used as a sensory opportunity for children. This is in the section of her book called Supporting Children to Participate in Everyday Life Using Sensory Processing Knowledge. The evidence can be used to support the need for bathing for children with sensory needs. Hong et al in 2005 collated the works of a number of occupational therapists and identified key points on how equipment can facilitate bathing for children, highlighting it is an essential part of occupational performance for young children. What she went on to say was bathing is necessary and appropriate as an occupational performance to promote play. So let's just break those down. The legislation clearly states that access to and use of a bath is reasonable and practicable recommendation to meet a child's needs. The legislation clearly states that access to and use of a bath can be deemed as necessary and appropriate and that an occupational therapist if they can clearly identify that it meets the needs of a child it should be grant funded. We know bathing is necessary and appropriate as we've already clearly indicated by the evidence that play is part of occupational performance. A child with a disability should not be disadvantaged by their disability and should be able to access the facilities that any other siblings would be accessing. But there's also, we need to look at that in reverse. The sibling of a child with a disability, again, should not be disadvantaged. So you can use it in both ways. A child should have equal rights to other children and not be impacted on their disability we should be promoting what is deemed as normal activities of daily living in the UK and children bathe in the UK.